Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Breakaway with Mark Parrish. I'm Audra Martin. As they say, all good things must come to an end tonight for the Wild. Unfortunately, it is the 11 game home win streak. It was a tough one tonight, a great effort to battle back. They were down at one point three goals to Colorado. They pulled within one in the final minutes, but it was too little too late. And Colorado continues to roll. They are 13 0 and 2 in their last 15 games. They're such a good team, but the takeaways, I love the first. We showed right away that we can scare with him we can set the set the pace and we can play our game against one of the best in the nation and then you go back and you watch the third and the comeback the de the determination the character to come back was awesome it was great to see that see the goal scores see the bukes deadline the hartman line but it was just that little breath they took in the second period that was enough and there, there's the lesson 60 minutes come out great in the first come out great in the second come out great in the third and so tonight, the Colorado Avalanche take game seven, which means they officially have taken the season series with a 5-2 record so far. Phil Grubauer has been one of the best netminders in hockey over the last couple of weeks, but the Wild didn't make it easy on him. They scored four. It was the first time since March 1st that he's given up at least four goals on the night. And Colorado, like I said, continues to stay red hot. All of those numbers, though, the most important was 3,000, as in the 3,000 fans that were back in the building for the first time since March 3rd. Here's what the head coach had to say about having their support back in the building. It felt like a heck of a lot more than 3,000 in here. They uh, uh, they were great. They were energized. Um, I think the start we had was uh, um, in part because of our, our great fans. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to giving them a different result here in a, in a couple of days. So the eighth and final meeting between the Wild and the Avalanche comes your way Wednesday night with an 8 o'clock puck drop. So join us at 7.30 for Wild Live. Should be a good one. Should be a heated and excited, exciting game between these two former Central Division foes. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Until then, for Mark Parrish, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway.